is nervous as maybe you were before the draft or here last summer? What's what's this like as you get ready for your first uh, pro camp? Yeah, uh, it's a bit nerve wracking. Obviously, playing against some, uh, some older players that are obviously uh, you know great players, and uh, but you know it's it's uh, it, it's a cool experience being here, and uh, you know I'm. Uh, Happy to get the chance, and uh, and I'm just going to play hard. And you've been playing high-level hockey up until this point. That has to be a benefit, uh, regardless of how old these guys are. Yeah, absolutely. Having the chance to play for Team Canada was uh, was an unbelievable experience, and you uh, know, I think it's planning on helping me a lot uh, here at camp. Morgan, uh, Brooke drafted you. Your thoughts on the fact that he got fired yesterday? Yeah, um, it's uh, that's that's hockey for you. You know, um, you know, I didn't hear until late. Uh, in the afternoon yesterday, and uh, and obviously it's pretty tough. And you know he was always great to me and always treated me as a pro. And uh, but you know I guess this is how it goes sometimes. And uh, you know it's uh, it's tough. Do you think you're ready to make that jump from the NHL right away? Do you think you're at that point? Yeah, it's 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 always tough to make the jump from junior to pro. But I think um, how I skate will help me. Uh, how the game is played today, um, you know it's it's all about speed and. Uh, and all that kind of stuff, and, and I think that's an area of, of my game that um, will help me a lot here at camp and, and hopefully in my pro career. It's a tough thing, you know, you're not going to get nine games but you only, because of the shortened season, it's going to be five, but, you know, a bigger clock is ticking in terms of you staying up longer. Yeah, I think so. Um, but either way, you know, you're going to have to play play some pretty high-end hockey, and, uh, and you know, hopefully I can play well in those games if if I got the opportunity to play and, uh, you know, just try to make the most of it and, uh, and just keep working hard here at camp and, uh, and hopefully make a good impression. What, about what are the things you want to learn? What are the things you want to work on? What are the things you want to just adapt to to make that next step, take that next step to the next level? Uh, you know, I think you just try to be a sponge uh, in the change room and stuff. You're, you're always around some high-end guys who have played pro hockey there for quite a few years now and, uh, and you know, you just try to uh, just try to take after them and and, uh, and, and just kind of check out what they're doing and, and you know, just kind of chat with them about um, how it is playing pro hockey and, 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 and just keep, keep playing hard. And, uh, and, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do this week and, and hopefully learn a lot. Do you simplify your game at least uh, early on at this level or do you just play the way you, uh, you've been taught and the way you have been? I think uh, a combination of both. I think I have to play my game, but, uh, you know, I... Uh, Playing with pro hockey players, I think it's important that uh, you just kind of give them the puck at times, and as opposed to playing junior when uh, you know you might have to take the puck and go. But uh, you know, up here I'm just going to try to play my game. But uh, you know, also I understand there's some some pretty good players around me, and uh, and you know, obviously try to use them.